Hello today's video we have the following content. How important is the acting skills of actors? Liu Yifei improvised the birth of a baby in the story of roses and impressed the audience. Since the broadcast of the story of roses, people have discussed Liu Yifei's beauty. Some people question that the reason for the popularity of this drama was Liu Yifei's appearance. However, only those who have really watched the drama know that for an excellent actor, appearance is only superficial, and what can really show the strength of the work is acting. In the play, Liu Yifei played the part of Wang Yimei giving birth. Her performance was very perfect and deeply moved the audience. Many netizens who have given birth said that Liu Yifei expressed the tiredness and joy of just giving birth very realistically. There was a scene that Liu Yifei improvised, and unexpectedly, this scene became the most touching point for the audience. In the scene, the child wanted to touch his nose but couldn't reach it. The mother played by Liu Yifei unconsciously made the same action as the child, which was both cute and distressing. Wang Yimei's three views on educating children in the play are also worth learning. The play is set 20 years ago, when such educational views were relatively avant-garde. Wang Yimei has been cultivating her child's self-care ability since she was a child, and she began to write letters to her to record her growth when the child was born. On the contrary, Fang Zhuan said that the child did not need to do anything. Such an educational concept will not allow them to go far even if they do not divorce, and their lives will definitely be a mess. Liu Yifei's acting skills and emotional outbursts should not be underestimated. The choral scene when she broke up with Zhuang Guodong in the play once caused everyone's discussion on the internet. It is very real to feel the uneasiness of losing the lover who was just in love. Wang Yimei has been a goddess in everyone's heart since she was a child. The first time she suffered such treatment, her hysteria was inevitable. In the scene of confrontation with her mother-in-law before the divorce, Liu Yifei finally broke out the emotions that she had been forbearing for many years. In front of the role, she does not care about the so-called idol burden, just to present a more realistic effect, and even let many viewers put themselves into a role. Fortunately, this is just a TV series. If it is such a suffocating marriage in real life, no one can stand it. Liu Yifei's outstanding performance once again proved her strength as an excellent actor. She not only relies on her appearance, but also presents the role perfectly to the audience through her delicate acting skills. I hope she can continue to show more wonderful acting skills in future works and continue to surprise the audience. Next news. The finale of Rose Story, Zhang Guodong let go of Wang Yimui, and Wang Yimui ended up living a lonely life. The TV series Rose Story starring Liu Yifei, Tong Dui, Lin Jenxin, Huo Jianhua. Pen Guanin and others finally had its finale on demand. The finale of this drama can only be described as unbearable. What else can I say? Especially the ending of the heroine Wang Yimui, which is very sad. I thought that Wang Yimui would meet several men in succession and the final ending would be good, but the result was sad. Her ending can be said to be the most sad one in the whole drama. After Wang Yimui and Fang Zhuan divorced, I thought that Wang Yimui would have a good turn after the scumbag Fang Zhuan but in fact it was just the opposite. After Fang Zhuan, Wang Yimui returned to Beijing and fell in love with Fu Jiaomin again. She and Fu Jiaomin soon fell in love. In fact, Fu Jiaomin knew that he had congenital heart disease, but he still provoked Wang Yimui, which was indeed a bit excessive. After falling in love, Wang Yimui found out that he had congenital heart disease, but she never left him and was still very concerned about him in the last days of his life. Fu Jiaomin eventually died, and he left like that, leaving Wang Yimui in pain and sadness. Wang Yimui missed him more, but Fu Jiamin died after all, and Wang Yimui could not fight against fate. She still had her own family and daughter, so Wang Yimui finally walked out of her sadness. She thought Wang Yimui could be with Zhang Guodong because of this, but it was obviously not the case. After Fu Jiamin's death, Zhang Guodong returned to Beijing. When Zhang Guodong saw Wang Yimui again, it was Wang Yimui's birthday. At that time, Jiang Zuqiang asked him what identity he would meet Wang Yimui with when he came back this time. An old lover, an ex-boyfriend. Zhang Guodong smiled and said nothing to Jiang Zuqiang's words. As for Wang Yimui, he might have really known where he was wrong, but it was a pity that he also knew that there was no possibility between Wang Yimui and him. Zhang Guodong finally let go of Wang Yimui and stopped forcing her. Wang Yimui was not disappointed about Zhang Guodong's letting go. She might have had some hopes for Zhang Guodong before, especially when she just ended her marriage with Fang Zhuan. Unfortunately, he didn't know what he did wrong in the end. He let Wang Yimui go again for work. Wang Yimui finally let go of him. Fu Jiaming, 
who was most compatible with Wang Yimui, died tragically. Fang Zhuan and her were divorced. Wang Yimui naturally couldn't repeat the same mistake. Zhang Guodong finally let go of his obsession. So where was Wang Yimui's final destination? Could it be Zhou Shihu? Of course not. Wang Yimui had never been interested in Zhou Shihu, not to mention that he had children and a family. Wang Yimui naturally couldn't be with him. In the original novel, Wang Yimui finally married a billionaire named Luo Deking and grew old together. However, Luo Deking was not a character in the TV series, or Jiang Zuqiang and Lao Gu were the ending of Wang Yimui's original novel. The last boy Wang Yimui met in the TV series was Huzai, a young boy younger than her. However, at the end of the drama, Wang Yimui did not end up with Huzai. Huzai was a pilot, and the relationship between him and Wang Yimui also went from being ordinary at the beginning to falling in love later. Unfortunately, Wang Yimui did not end up with him. The two separated at the airport. Perhaps a year later, the two sides could continue to be together. The director said that the ending of this part of the original content is open-ended, and Wang Yimui's future has infinite possibilities. Of course, for Wang Yimui's final ending, I personally think it is a lonely life. Why do you say that? Every man Wang Yimui met in the first half of her life was too good, whether it was Fu Jiaoming or Zhang Guodong, even Fang Zhuan had considerable abilities. These people were all excellent, and it was hard to say whether Wang Yimui's vision was picky, but she had a daughter, and as she got older, the range of options became smaller and smaller. The final ending was most likely a lonely life. Of course, the final ending was open-ended, and there might be different possibilities. All in all, compared with the original novel, the ending of Wang Yimui has been changed a lot in the drama version. The billionaire has become a young man, and the ending that was supposed to be a happy marriage has become an open one. What kind of ending do you hope Wang Yimui will have? Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,